Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to a brand new video ladies and gentlemen Today I would like to make a follow up of the video that I made yesterday When it comes to the ancient writing material Like the papyrus for example Into, um, The papyrus is more catered um, I mean it's more towards the uh, New Testament Because um, there's not a lot of evidence that actually uh, Quranic scribes actually write on papyrus um, but the earlier scribes they were writing on vellum they were writing on parch uh, parchment the back of leaves on rocks on animal skin um, animal fur they were writing on their burdened animals for example um, but ever since the time of the Abbasids when paper was made much more available so, um, Quranic scholars or scribes, they actually started writing on paper. Um, and so, pretty much from like the 10th century, 11th century onwards, parchments were, uh, get, uh, were not written on more frequently. And instead, paper were, were written on uh, more frequently. And so, today here I have a piece of medieval paper. Okay, um, not exactly from the time of the 11th or 12th century, but more like a reconstruction or a reproduction of a medieval paper. Now this is totally handmade, and so this is what mat uh, this is the materials that ancient Quranic scribes would have been writing on um, from the 10th, 11th centuries uh, onwards, um, because paper was much more. Um, available and also it is much more easier to produce and also it is much more cost effective and so paper were made widely available um, actually be, um, the only uh, people that actually were writing on parchment um, actually were, uh, were the Western Arabians because they do not have access because they were not so connected with the Central Asians at the time the Sogdians, the Manichaean Christians they were already using paper and papyrus uh, much earlier on before the time of Islam actually um, but because the the Western Arabs um, they do not have access to this material um, and so they were writing on parchment at the back of animal skin but when Islam became popular in a sense, um, when it spread uh, across the former per the Sassanid Empire, um, and you know Central Asians like Khorasan, uh, Khorasm, they were all part of the former, um, not really former Persian Empire, um, because the Persians never actually conquered Central Asia, what we have today is Central Asia, um, because they were defeated, uh, and so Central Asians remained unconquered until the time of Genghis Khan. Um, but anyway, uh, I digress. So paper was made widely available, and so the Central Asians were actually right. <coughs> the Central Asians were actually writing on paper, and so they were not um, writing on parchment. And because it is much more easier, because the Silk Road, um, I mean, they're right in the middle of the Silk Road, uh, and they play a, a huge role in the Silk Road, and so paper were coming in from China. And obviously, in the third centuries, they actually um, because the ancient Chinese paper they were made out of mulberry tree, and it is not as rigid as the Central Asians because ever since paper got uh, into the trade route, um, quote unquote empires they wanted to make their own paper, and so the Central Asians actually introduced cotton all into the recipe, and so it became a much more stronger paper, and so this is um, something like. Um, Probably what the Central Asians, uh, according to the evidence that we have, um, the Central Asians produces this kind of paper. The mulberry paper that were produced by the Chinese um, were uh, before the Common Era. Um, they were much. Uh, they were thinner. Uh, if you know mulberry paper, that the Chinese were, were still continue to use today. Um, it's still being produced hand handmade mm. it is much more thinner and it doesn't last uh, long it's not as rigid so central asians they add cotton they add silk into the paper and so it becomes something like this now this is totally handmade 
just like the papyrus it is handmade and how do you know that this is actually handmade there's also a trick uh, using light uh, you can see because paper uh, were made from pulp um, see here see this is the the pulp uh, you like the papyrus is much more easier to see because you can see the the seams here um, but this is yeah you can see that this is made from pulp I have a piece of Quran written in there um, yeah, as you can see all these little little uh, pulps they, they were made from if you look at the modern paper which I have here um, as you can see that you cannot really tell like because it is all consistent it is all consistent and so it is factory made whereas this one is not so consistent you can see that that's parchments here that is darker than the other and then another parchment here parchment there and so yeah you, you can tell that it is actually handmade so I thought I'd show you uh, with the Quran in here and probably this is what it would look like when scribes were actually writing um, the pen that they uh, the writing materials that they are using is not so much the reed pen that ancient Christian scribes were actually using because Christian scribes were actually using this the get the Central Asians um, they improve <laughs> the um, stencils that um, the ancient people were using and so theirs were much more smaller because it's much easier to write when it's small and they're not top heavy whereas it just want to topple over like this one and so it is well balanced and today you can buy those um, writing instrument um, but it's gonna cost you uh, tons and tons of money like the original uh, so it is all handmade in the past um, and so it is much more smaller it's more like a pencil size okay made out of bamboo and then they will actually shave this and so the pigment that the um, Central Asians use were also uh, much better they are much darker they are not as reflective uh, and so they are matte in, in a sense and they are waterproof um, because some um, because inks in the past they are not waterproof so that when it smudge uh, when it get wet it uh, uh, it wash away uh, and so the the ink that were much improved later on uh, were somewhat waterproof obviously today you can't compare modern recipe to ancient recipe because the ancients do not have quote-unquote size that we have today but for what they have for the technologies that they have they actually produce something that is you know long lasting uh, in a sense because that is why we still have writings of the New Testament um, writings of uh, the Quran that is that has survived the test of time I've written a Quran here um, in papyrus and I've also written um, a Quran here in um, the paper just to give you an example of what it could have it could probably uh, be yeah so I thought I'd make a follow-up video to share with you how the Quran manuscripts uh, would have been written or how the Quran manuscript look like now today you can still purchase something like this if you go to the Middle East uh, you can still find modern scribes that actually copied the entire Quran um, yeah so but this is something uh, really really interesting this, uh, this is a piece of our history uh, because before we get here we should always remember where we come from um, and so to keep up this art uh, is still something that is uh, you know something that we it is worth pursuing for now it depends on what you want to do um, if you want to do this to, to make money or things like that uh, it is completely up to you but for me it is just about 
know learning to actually write how the ancient actually wrote and this is also something that um, is a skill um, it is a skill that takes years and years to actually master um, consistently you need to practice and also it is just something interesting like to imagine yourself in the ancient world and then just write on how the ancient scribes would have written on uh, like this paper handmade and um, this is cotton blend uh, so it is not 100% cotton obviously that would be a terrible recipe um, but um, if it's thicker then it will also work this one is 200 GSM if you're comparing it to modern weight uh, the papyrus here uh, as I've told you is about 160 GSM yeah and so I've written on ink and it doesn't actually s you can't actually see at the back here and so I've also written this papyrus on ink and you can't actually see uh, at the back here so it is still fine and so the New Testament was actually written on both sides uh, and is fine and so ancient Quran was also written on both sides uh, as well so anyway I hope this video is really this video really helped you and I'll see you on my next one Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh